day three of learning generative AI in the easiest way possible. Today, let's explore the concept of multi-model AI. Well, multi-model AI is like having all those superpowers in one model. Instead of needing multiple tools or separate tools for text, images, and audio, you get one AI that handles everything. GPT-4 models can see your files, photos, and code to answer any sort of questions about them. Sora understands your text prompts perfectly to create animated videos within seconds. But how does multi-models actually work in the backend? These models use something called as embedding space, where different types of data speak the same language. Imagine translating English, Spanish, and Chinese into one universal language that everyone understands. That's what happens inside. When you upload a picture of your messy desk and ask, give me a clean desk image with a rearranged look, the AI converts both image pixels and text words into same numerical language called the embeddings. It then processes them together using cross-attention mechanisms, which is the machine code translation. Then it outputs the required response. Multi-model AI is already changing everything. Self-driving cars now see the road, hear sirens, and read the street signs simultaneously. Claude can now access your spreadsheets and help you analyze them. The craziest part is that we are moving towards AI that experiences the world like humans do. Imagine AI tutors that watch you solve problems and guide you in real time. Isn't it amazing? Tomorrow's episode is going to be about AGI versus ASI versus Gen AI. And I hope to see you again.